Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another death battle. Today, we're right into Goku. Hey, it's me, Goku. First, it's Superman. It's not the epic rap battles of history. Rap. Okay, right now, right. is there ready death battle round three? For some reason, we, I think people needed a third round. For some reason, we needed a third round. Because Superman, so far, he's 2-0 against Goku. I don't know why people think Ultra Instinct is going to be a huge enough difference for Goku to win. Don't get me wrong. I want Goku. I prefer Goku way more than Superman because Superman is boring. But I, I would love Goku to win, but I know Superman's going to win. Ooh, look at that animation. Ooh. Son Goku. Can I still remember Superman. like the first two? It's time to answer the ultimate question, and we're taking it all into play. We're examining mm -hmm. Superman's extensive mainline comic book canon. Given Dragon Ball Super's contentious continuities, we'll include all three just to be thorough, plus Dragon Ball heroes. Ooh, Ooh heroes! And it's our job to analyze their weapons. But will heroes be a, a big enough to who would win mm. a death battle? Far when was round two? In an enchanted land, an old master found a boy and marveled at his uncommon Son strength. Goku. This is the story of Son Goku. Chances are, if you've watched some localized anime, you can uh -huh. think this guy. Inspired by uh -huh. martial arts films and his wife's interest in Chinese culture, Akira Toriyama crafted the story yeah. and the character that would define generations to come. Of through. anime and manga. Kakarot was born a low-class saiyan on the planet Vegeta, narrowly escaped its destruction by Frieza, and was raised Frieza. by happy old Grandpa Go Gohan. Not just raised, but He's over 40, Gohan yeah. He's 5'9"? He's teachings in martial arts. Which he would find well, I'm I'm like 174. Of he learned the or 173 on, on a good day. No, I'm just Both of which I think it depends with shoes. The more he learned, the more he wanted to improve. This little low class. What if they reanimate OG Dragon Ball? Can beat raw talent. I think that'd be kind of cool. Years, he was so I mean, there's Daima, the but we have no idea what Daima is. Gods, and cat, but most yes. When you're training Call me. To dodge lightning, you know you're a few leagues over everyone else. He did have how old was how does Goku in Z? I mean not in Z. Also take in ball, isn't he like 12, 13 ish? Stronger, Always thought he was like five. Literally. It's almost unfair how much of a boost in power they get after they're hurt. While yeah, like the, the Super Saiyan BS. Way, it suits Goku. No matter how many times Plot armor power down, up. He will get back up stronger than before. It helps that he knows so many cool combat moves, like the Kamehameha. Eternal Destruction Wave. That focuses one's key into a single point for a devastating Beam attack. Beam. So challenging, it took Roshi decades to master. But mm -hmm. Goku got it in like five seconds. And he shot out a car. Versatile. With over 50 different variations. For real. For example, Goku can curve the beam after mm -hmm. firing or even shoot it from his feet. But unlike most I've Saiyans, never seen the feet shot. Use key to blow shit up. Moves like the solar flare, energy landmine, and god bind require a lot more strategy and plan. God bind. Okay, to be fair, exactly smart. smart. He is a genius street when fart. it comes to martial street, arts. Street, street he doesn't smart. just train to conquer his opponents, but to conquer Dumb. himself. He's yeah. also got some different moves, like trapping you in a rice cooker. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty much any container could be used for the Mafaba ceiling technique. Then there's Kaioken, a.k.a. Kaio what? Instant steroids. Goku's multiplied his power by 20 with it before, and in a movie, he even got it up to times 100. What a badass. In a Kenny movie. Gama, or Spirit Bomb, is potentially his strongest attack, but it requires considerable time. Unlike Instant Transmission, which is a teleport that's... Uh, Instant. The way it works is Goku detects another person, like a sort of beacon, then teleports to their location by launching himself through an alternate dimension where time stands still. Yes, according to the Daisenshu guidebook, it's a dimension hop. You can actually yep. see this in between space and some movies and games. And the dubs wanted us to think it shot Goku's molecules around at light speed. Silly <laughs> English. The dubs did more than that. In fact, early dubs of Dragon Ball tried to rewrite Nimbus. Goku's Superman film. That's the Noiba! His famous speech on Namek about being purple in the darkness was originally about him coming to terms with his Saiyan heritage accepting his Shit anger and pride damn. his people by defeating uh, Frieza, I live in the US so that's like the Super Saiyan Hell from yeah. 
Cali is to New York. I think that's 300,000 miles. So that power multiplier. It reaches that span. Almost to that span. Crazy. God certainly changed things up. Yes, it did. It revived the series. Unspoiled by mortal hands. Unlike normal key, it can't it's funny that I feel like a lot of people thought God key was gonna be like you know one Senzu has so was gonna be more important, but no, it's more about blue limbs? than God. They're just sad because I really like God, God form. Goku reached a level of power that could compete with the greatest of deities, nearly shattering the whole universe with a single clash on his. God was just an afterthought, which is sad. So cool. This model is said to be an accurate depiction of Universe Seven, but there's a wrinkle there. When all of humanity went to heaven, because Boo went Boo, sir. Uh huh. Fidel commented that heaven is just as large as a universe, and the Dizenshu backs her up. And uh, that's heaven, big planet. So let's scale mm -hmm. things up with that in mind. Doing so would make Universe Seven over 1500 times larger than our own observable cool. universe and goku could destroy that i wonder are all universes the same size in dragon ball or are there some of them that are bigger some of them are smaller even in base form now imagine how much stronger he became when he stacked super saiyan on super saiyan god and became super saiyan blue super saiyan god super saiyan yeah not saying that or after he some almighty angels or when he perfected the blue hairdo and stacked kai can on top of that. Goku yep. has certainly performed I like the cow can the aura it's so cool by forcing himself into the future holding off infinite Zamasu who was a sentient timeline defeating Jiren who shook the entire world of void by just walking mm -hmm. Jiren was cool I kind of enjoyed him I feel like his backstory kind of diminished him a bit I feel like he just didn't need a backstory he's just like I'm him his greatest form Ultra instinct. instinct. Chrome Goku isn't a normal transformation. It's a state of mind. Ultra Instinct is the highest peak of martial arts. Subconsciously making optimal choices because you're in the zone. <laughs> SSD shook the afterlife. That, that is true. Goku has always been trained to do. Technically, it can be used in any form, but when perfected, autonomous Ultra mm, yeah. Instinct is Mastered no Ultra Instinct. Goku will automatically dodge, block, and counter to the best of his ability, even pushing Full counter! beyond his physical limits. So far beyond, in fact, Ultra Instinct can summon a massive avatar to defend him when his own body can't. Mm -hmm. That sounds really intense. That was it cool. Is, which is why he's developed incremental versions of it for. That's like that's pretty much it's avatar. It's extremely difficult to maintain the full form for long. Until you get to Dragon Ball Heroes, aka Dragon Ball Fan Fiction Gon Kaioken times a thousand. For real. While technically a different continuity, CC Goku is functionally a stand in for the mainline Goku. His mm -hmm. history and powers are the same, making his story just as much of a what if scenario as the multiple super continuities. The yep. only real difference is Toriyama's not really involved. This Goku used instant transmission to teleport through time and dimensions. He outsped a god who could see the future. He defeated Dark King Fu, who was gonna rewrite the entire universe. Hell, yeah, this series I forgot about even Fu. makes GT cool. Xeno Goku can break space time just by going Super Saiyan 4. Looking back at that Goku uh, bro, boy, Super Saiyan 4 is so cool. Dinosaurs. We need more. We need it. We needed it to be canon. Our Goku has come. How much he's had to face. But, no but like the, the thing is like, is there really a need for Super Saiyan 4 though? Is cause like, how to go even further beyond? Cause you know, Vegeta has a Ultra a Ego, Goku has Master in, a a Master motor. Ultra it's Instinct. A it's a blade. So there's it's really no benefit Superman. for SS4. Just a but I feel like the the someone else could have SS4. Goku, uh, Gohan has Beast. I feel like SS4 should go to Trunks and Goten. Because for sure those two are not going to go up to the Master Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego of their, of their fathers. I feel like SS4 God. will work for them definitely not Jesus. if they decide Wait, to revive that form. Jewish? Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster were sons of Jewish immigrants and grew up in a time when anti-Semitism went largely unchallenged. And then that ugly mustache showed up. Understandably uh -oh. seeking escape from some truly terrifying horrors, the mm -hmm. pair created Superman to be a simple symbol of, to overwhelm the symbol of peace. Hero who could defeat any evil by I am here. Hell okay, yeah. I gotta That's stop. How I live my life. After almost it's funny that he's in this Superman anime. Superman has been many things. At the core, his Kal -el. story is one of a Kal -el. G, a child who lost Clark. his heart, left to the mercy of alien people. It's this funny. new world Clark. accepted him, raised him, 
gave him a new home because helping others in need is the right thing to do. Young That's with ketchup. A superhero. Lois Lane, la 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 a bunch of L's. The first one to really take off. I mean, not literally. It took a while actually before he learned how to fly. In fact, when Clark discovered his Kryptonian heritage, he struggled to accept it and subconsciously developed mental blocks, severing mm -hmm. him from his true power, which he would uncover throughout his life. Yeah. Strong enough to shoulder press the weight of the earth for five days straight, or crush shoulder Cole press. A perfectly cut diamond. That's not how that works. He's fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in seconds, or even break the bonds of infinity. Wait, he can do all that, but Batman can punch him out? Really? You're probably thinking of Elseworld stories outside main canon like Dark Knight Returns. It's a good question, though. Superman's powers have fluctuated over time for a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. However, for Death Battle, we take the characters at their best. Best. Yeah, like how his breath is so It kind of makes sense why they made Superman a OP, because one, the name is Super, and two, they needed, like, Speaking of, he is the ultimate superhero. He can see through your own body and mind to examine your soul. And yet, he can't see through lead. That's okay, though. He can just burn through it with his face. Since he gets his power from the, from the sun. sun, his heat vision burns with the fire of a star. And if beams aren't enough, he can blast it out of his whole body for a super flare. It used to totally drain him, but he's learned how to control it. Simply put, Superman's powers defy physics. My favorite examples of this are when he rebuilt the reality warping miracle machine from from memory or punched Brainiac so hard every version of him felt it through all of time or when he gained 10 years worth of medical training through only five minutes of reading yeah. and then successfully performed lung surgery nice long favorite example is when he smelled brownies in North Dakota from orbit even beyond his powers Superman is no novice when it comes to the intricacies of that's battle. so weird He's out of all the things in martial arts which in orbit G, you, or as they call brownies free are he he entrance to Asgard to fight for me it will be tamales years. superman can resist being erased from existence such as tanking dark side's omega beams even retcon <laughs> in the time trapper is that team rocket and alter timelines can't touch him not because of his powerful mental defenses or healing factor but mm -hmm. because he's a cosmic linchpin in the greater metaverse timelines mm. literally revolve around him but let's address the s-shaped elephant in the room you may have noticed we've covered a variety of superman eras superman and DC Comics as a whole have gone through multiple retcons. Yeah. Golden Age, Silver Age, Pre-Crisis, Post-Crisis, New 52, Rebirth, and mm -hmm. so on. It would help to know which one is the main Superman. Frontier! Right? Well, they all are. Yeah, the latest reboots basically said everything in the main series is kind of canon, even when he had wacky powers like changing his appearance with a super muscular control. Ew. Thank what? Goodness, he can still phase through almost anything, even people. Look, if you really dig into it, this isn't new. Plenty of characters. I think it's like I kind of want to take my own Superman spin. Before. Like, yeah, I feel like that would be that. Did Interesting. Start is less powerful than in pre-crisis, but that was because of the mental blocks. Though he's not a complete composite, there's so many other Superman out there. Future Superman, Big Robot Superman, Kami Superman, Dinosaur Superman. What? There's a bunch. Still, this new canon has affected his abilities. For example, he and other Kryptonians can effortlessly travel through time. And obviously, and if I'm going to make my own Superman, sun, he's going to have a, blue star a flame. Further. In fact, upon visiting a I'm going to ask star, I'm going to give him my own flame twist to it. When that old baldy Lex teleported him to another galaxy, Superman just popped back up, saying space-time has but lost crazy. its meaning for him. He really just said that. Remember, Superman defies Physics. Gravity. Like when no, he kidding. used heat vision to restart the universe by making an all new Big Bang. We've seen that his universe has a radius of at least a hundred trillion light years. Yes. But we can calculate a more exact figure. The DC universe is 15 billion years old. And Whoa. It's at 60 trillion light years per half second. Crazy. This means its radius must be over 50 non-million light years across. Non? What? That's 31 zeros, and soups help make that happen. Well, about one fifth of it. That's still immense power, but if you want something big, what is non? Anti-monitor blasting Golden Age Superman. Is that is that like nine? Anti-matter universe, and then Superman, you know, punched him. So hard it kickstarted another one of those reboots. Now Superman does That's have funny. Weaknesses. There's Kryptonite, of course, Kryptonite. and exposure to red starlight can fade his powers over time. Too Not much sun. At once he has been able to move planets around while under a red star. So 
And everyone knows Superman can't deal with magic, but it's more accurate to say he doesn't have any special resistances to, to it. magic. He's defeated plenty of magic users before, even Shazam. Superman challenges the idea that absolute power corrupts absolutely. He's the goodest good guy of them all, but there is nuance to being good. Even if he is the ultimate power fantasy, unstoppable and incorruptible. Such as when he took on the World Forger. One of the most the world. reality shapers in all of creation. Who was in the sixth dimension, crafting a whole Zod. new multiverse Ultraman. to replace the one Clark calls home. Who's gonna stop him? Superman My did, God. the Forger knew it. So he was trapped on a world with a sun so distant he could never escape. Or so the Forger thought. Instead, Clark found the strength he needed to fly at that sun, dip through a ton of stars, KO the World Forger, and shatter his new multiverse with a single punch. Because that's Superman, a simple solution to overwhelming problems. <laughs> the, He's the older kind of cartoons. To save a cat from a tree, answer Christmas cards from strangers, and tow hundreds of planets to a new galaxy all in the same day. What's not to like? Truth and Crazy. justice has no better champion than the Man of Steel. All right. All right, the combatants are set. We've run mm -hmm. the game with all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. Obviously, I always said my answer. I perfectly want Goku to win, but I already know it's Superman. My dad really loves Superman. My dad is always like, Superman is the best superhero. No one can beat him, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't care. Finally settle who's He's strong. boring. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> okay. Counter, nice. Wait. Did he re wait? Did Superman revive Goku again for the second time? Heat blast! I know he beams. Whatever. Ooh, elbow. Uppercut, drop kick. No regrets. Spin him around town. Ooh, strong left. Power up. Blue. Ooh, Pele kick. I'm gonna be on commentary. Oh, I thought like he's behind you. I know. They're in space. Ooh, weave. Oh, the one inch punch. He blast barrage. Ooh, he backhanded that key blast. <laughs> I guess we can wish it back later. World made of cardboard. All right, I'll show you just how powerful I really am. Why cardboard of all things? That was kind of weird. Oh, that's cool. Kaioken! Oh! Gut punch! Oh, okay, I get it. It's, it's different continuities of the unit of the multiverses. The, the each each of them are fighting each other well in different what do you time think? periods <laughs> not time periods awesome <laughs> universe still... periods oh, universes uh, thanks kryptonian fabric my mom made it for me <laughs> oh let's go oh go punch This is new. What is this form of yours? Oh, okay, them heavy blows. Block, block, counter, weave, dodge, back, elbow. Fight back. Okay. Oh, he exploded like Vegeta. Okay, he's charging up. Oh, well, he's going to a lot of red stars. Or yellow stars, I mean. Red stars is too much for him. <gasps> oh, it's Golden Superman. Oh, God! 
Goku, you blew up the earth. Oh, the, the avatar state. That's cool. The avatar form. That was cool. I like that. They broke the, the fabric of space and time. And now he's in heaven. Huh? Yeah. Oh, darn it. Not again. <laughs> Almost had me there. That was actually pretty fun. That was a damn lie. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. But I'll be stronger next time. I look forward to it. Round four in three years. Yeah, Let's the different. Again. I like it. The You're different right. alliterations. Not alliterations, but con continuities. KO! That's it. The final indisputable answer. Uh, who am I kidding? People are going to argue this one forever. There uh -huh. are so many ways this battle could go, especially with all the other continuities. Yeah, for real, Goku would kick almost every other Superman's ass, except for the main one. There's a lot to cover, so let's address the five categories most representative of this fight. Mm -hmm. First up, strength. Both could hit hard enough to break or make their whole universe, or take it in stride, like when Superman got smacked by the whole antimatter universe. At most, Dragon Ball's universe is 1505 times larger than our own but based on the dc universe's officially established yeah. age and rate of expansion it is 1.6 vigentillion times larger Vigen a november decillion times more than goku no this is the cillion high enough that it just doesn't mean anything anymore anyway goku's obviously gotten stronger since the beerus fight even by billions or trillions of times he's defeated jiren broly moro and Fu. but even if we highball goku by quadrillions or quintillions of times the gap is just too much especially mm -hmm. with the world forger feet not even heroes compete with that superman takes the edge in strength but strength isn't everything let's talk speed both are obviously way faster than light but yeah. superman crossed that mega-sized universe of his in seconds and flew faster than infinity makes sense he can keep up with the flash whose speed is so ludicrous it's unquantifiable <laughs> Don't count Goku quantifiable out, flying across the entire afterlife in base form and outspeeding eos's future sight takes some crazy speed Fighting Zamasu as an omnipresent merged timeline also implies immeasurable speeds. That, combined with instant transmission and ultra instinct, could probably keep up. Maybe. Quantifiably, Superman is faster, but both are immeasurable. The mm -hmm. safest bet here is to say they tie in speed. Especially when we sure. look at skill. Goku's they tied. Arts master. He Air definitely quotes, got better tied. He wants to fight and is dedicated to his training, while Superman sees training as a means to an end. Superman's knowledge in pressure point combat and Kryptonian martial arts are impressive, but he's only used them a few times. It would be Kung disingenuous Fu. to say he's an equivalent mm -hmm. master at that. So That's Goku funny. wins in skill, but not necessarily in experience. Don't get it wrong, Superman is not a mindless brawler. He's trained with Batman and Wonder Woman. He's yep. even defeated martial arts experts like Cobra without powers. Goku has spent decades training, but Superman battled Norse demons for a thousand years. He's also astonishingly brilliant, like when he reassembled the reality warping miracle machine from memory. Experience obviously goes to Superman. Yeah. But perhaps less obvious is our last category, powers. Okay, Spirit Bomb, Mafuba, Instant Transmission, God Key, God Bind. How does Goku not win with those? In Dragon Ball, Key is dependent on physical ability, so mm -hmm. it's different from magic. God Key is simply pure key. And magic isn't an auto win against Superman anyway, whose greater strength could break out of something like the God Bind. It's Mafuba just that uh, he doesn't have a resistance to, and Goku's to magic. Never successfully used Takai before. Even if he did land it, Superman's impossible to erase from reality. Like, he's tanked Omega Beams, which do the same thing as a guy. Superman can time travel, mm -hmm. countering instant transmission similar ability from heroes. And regarding teleporting him to a red star, ignoring the fact that Sans can't breathe in space, though Goku's certainly tough enough to withstand a vacuum, instant transmission requires another person to act as a beacon. He can't just warp to any red star. That's true. Even if he did, Superman could simply fly away and find a blue or white star for a supercharge. And Goku could not pull off the same trick twice, as Superman could phase through his attacks. So that's it then. Clark has too many counters, so he takes the edge in powers and it's over. Well, I think there's something else. Goku versus Superman breaches a broader zeitgeist. It's more than just <laughs> I like it, it, bro. For e -E a whole generation, especially in 90s America, superheroes represented an unyielding status quo. Spider-Man, yep. Batman, Captain America rarely change who they are or what they believe in. 
For a lot of people, that's tiring, and Superman is an icon of that. Then along came anime. There was a whole other world of ideas and stories for us sheltered Westerners to experience, and Goku's an icon of that. So while True. many see this as a debate between characters, others see it as a debate of ideologies and culture. And if that's what's at stake, who wants Goku to lose? Uh, you're sure you're not overthinking this? It's not our intent, but it does call into question what we're doing. How can people agree with what we take I as can fact see that. when fiction relies on interpretation? Are we stripping characters of their importance by simplifying them to contestants in a vacuum? You know what? Uh, I would love so, to see a Dragon Ball comic. Because it's fun with Damn it, man. There's like a collaboration. Because you know how Damn Deadpool a has a manga? About awesome characters I would like... And slamming action figures together. You know, that'd be and cool. Okay. Like, yeah, Goku. Yeah, you're right. I'm or just like... Saying. No matter who you just another shonen manga was super be converted man, into a comic so we can have a whole comic what? series it's so lame i don't see you i know that, i feel like that'd be I cool the math the pun's your job well maybe if you math as good as i punned then goku would have won what is wrong with nah, you nah i'm sorry i mean i already knew this point for me hi it's kind I'm of ben, obvious voice of Wiz. thank you so much for watching we are about to announce the next episode but before we do that if you're not a death battle member yet click the join button below so next time see. on dragon ball z okay season 10 finale galactus <laughs> contra <laughs> unicron the most regressive matchup in death battle is the who is unicron who's unicron I have no idea who Unicron is. Anyways, the link to the original uh, video down in the description below. Go watch it. So go like yourself. Support Death Battle. Please support them so we can keep getting more Death Battle. Please, buff our water. And, and you can support me by liking and subscribing to me. See you on the next reaction. Bye-bye.